What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to one of the most exciting Liverpool transfer news video of the summer. What they think about Liverpool reportedly preparing a 61 million pound, 70 million euro bid for Pierre Romeric Aubameyang and Sky Sports reporting this that Aubameyang wants to move to Liverpool and this came out of nowhere, out of the blue, so it really surprised me and let me know guys what do you think? Do you think that there is any, ch any chance of Liverpool getting Aubameyang? I think we should try, we have to try, we have to throw our name into the ring. Of course there are a lot of uh, richer clubs than Liverpool, a lot of uh, clubs who have a bigger status at the moment than Liverpool, but Aubameyang has the Jurgen Klopp connection. Jurgen Klopp brought Aubameyang to Liverpool in 2013, so if, I think if Aubameyang would sign for Liverpool, that would be down to Jurgen Klopp and if anybody, if any manager can convince Aubameyang to join um, an up-and-coming club instead of a, like a true powerhouse like Real Madrid, I think it would be Jurgen Klopp. Let me know what do you think about this in the comments below and leave a like on this video if you enjoy these Liverpool transfer news videos and I'm just back from a short holiday. I took my girlfriend to uh, another city where my uncle and my dad lives and we had a great time but I just didn't have time to make any videos for you guys, I didn't want to rush any videos out. So now I'm back, the career mode videos are going and coming back and a lot of interesting content coming your way, real life football as well. Reports in France are claiming that Liverpool are willing to break uh, the bank to uh, get Aubameyang. And uh, this is very interesting. I think the one reason why Aubameyang would move to Liverpool is uh, Jurgen Klopp and also that Liverpool play very very exciting attacking football similar to Borussia Dortmund so Aubameyang in terms of playing style he would fit right in at Liverpool and with Mana, Mane and maybe Mohamed Salah on either side of Aubameyang and Coutinho behind Aubameyang would actually join a very very potent attacking force and Liverpool if, if, they, can, um, if they can sort out the defense and the goalkeeper issues and maybe the defensive midfield side of the midfield then Aubameyang could join a club who could really challenge for trophies in the next three years but that's of course a lot of ifs, buts and maybes and Aubameyang first in the transfer window I think he was angling, he was uh, we're looking after, looking for a Real Madrid move. Uh, that failed to be a materials. Then there were a lot of reports saying that Aubameyang will sign for Paris Saint-Germain. Some, uh, some reports even said that it was a done deal for similar amount of money. And that looks like it's off. The, de the move for Aubameyang to Paris Saint-Germain is off. And now is, it, is this Aubameyang's agent trying to put out uh, some news? Or is it just a slow news day? Since the Van Dijk transfer fiasco, Liverpool have stopped any leaks and any briefings to English and Liverpool based journalists. So there are absolutely like no news coming out of Liverpool in terms of transfer news. And I think that's a good thing. I think Liverpool really should do business um, behind closed doors because that gives the club a bigger advantage, a bigger chance of actually signing these kind of players because if, uh, you know, for example, the Salah deal, it's reportedly very, very close. There is actually a close friend of Salah who congratulated uh, Mohamed Salah on Facebook saying that congratulations on your move to Liverpool. However, Italian reports are saying that Salah uh, is still uh, the negotiations are still going on between Roma and Liverpool so it's anybody's guess when the Mohamed Salah deal will be concluded but I think it's a matter of only days and weeks because there are actually talks uh, and the reports saying that the medical for Mohamed Salah to pass in, in Liverpool is actually scheduled for Tuesday so that is going to be very very interesting to see if it's true or not but yeah this Aubameyang story I mean just just please, just please let this be true. Please let this be true that Aubameyang actually wants to sign for Liverpool. That would be the best thing ever in this transfer window. Of course, uh, you know, you have to uh, doubt these transfer rumors because we have been there before. And Aubameyang has so many, you know, clubs who have much, much bigger resources than Liverpool. Who are, I think, huge fans of Aubameyang. I think it could be down to Aubameyang. If he really wants to be reunited with, with Jurgen Klopp, then I can see why Liverpool would be attractive for him. And there are not that many 
you know, clubs uh, who can pay the amount of money that Aubameyang is on, who are looking for a striker. You know, it looks like that Real Madrid are not really looking for a striker, Barcelona certainly are not looking for attackers, um, Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern Munich not really looking for a number 9. But there are talks in the newspapers, in the Daily Mirror in particular, that Morata wants to work under Antonio Conte, because I think he was working under Antonio Conte at Juventus, correct me if I'm wrong, but Morata used to play for Juventus before he was brought back by Real Madrid, so Morata maybe would go to Chelsea instead of Manchester United, so this would free up, I think, uh, Liverpool to go for Aubameyang, because, you know, I think we have the money to sign him, we have the definitely the, the wages to pay for him to join Liverpool, the big, big, big million dollar question is would Aubameyang really, like seriously want to play for Liverpool? And that's, I mean, only Aubameyang can answer that, only, only you know, he knows, but let me know what is your opinion, because this, these kind of transfer videos is also about you guys and your opinion, and I love, absolutely love watching uh, your discussion in the comments below. So after this video is posted, I will read through their comments and replying to as many as I can, so let me know what do you think about the transfer window as a whole. It's, it's quite a weird, unusual transfer window. Um, we already talked about the Mohamed Salah transfer, of course, uh, you know, this guy who is called Mohamed Ali and saying that uh, he posted it on Twitter and on Facebook as well, uh, saying good luck bro in Liverpool, you are a legend and you deserve to be in Anfield. And he is actually pictured with Mohamed Salah, both of them smiling into the camera, taking a selfie, so this is, this is very interesting. Um, and if it's true, I would I would love it because Mohamed Salah is such a brilliant, exciting player, and I think it would be a really, really major part in the jigsaw. And I wouldn't actually mind Jurgen Klopp signing as many as four players who would straight come into the the starting eleven, and one of them has to be, I think, Salah or a left winger, another one has to be a left back, the third one has to be a centre defensive midfielder or centre midfielder, more like a box-to-box -box midfielder, somebody like Nabi Keita, but I don't think we, we have the realistic chance of getting Nabi Keita, another one could be Oxley chamberlain there are heavy, heavy rumours in the papers today that Oxley chamberlain looks like he wants to move out of Arsenal. He has only one year left on his contract. He has been at Arsenal for like many years, for like five years, I think. But he still doesn't have the full faith of Arsene Wenger. And this is this is shown because uh, Oxley chamberlain has been in and around the squad. He's more, and that is more like the squad player for Arsenal instead of a starting 11 player. Of course, you could argue that he can't really replace the likes of Mesut Ozil and other players, but I think he's, he would be a very, very good addition for Liverpool. It, of course, all depends on how much... Um, how much Arsenal wants for him, because Oxley chamberlain has one year left on his contract, but if Arsenal wants to get something ridiculous like 30 million, then I would say just stay away and wait until January and then you can sign Oxley chamberlain on a free contract. And he is actually a typical Jurgen Klopp type of player, he is very high energy, he's running around, busting a gut, all game, very very high work rate, very hard working guy and he, ha he has a versatility like very few midfielders because he can play right winger, right midfield, center midfield and even right full back, I mean right wing back more likely, right back not so much but right wing back, he actually played some games for Arsenal as a right wing back and the England international Oxley chamberlain actually is fearing of he, for his chances of actually going to the World Cup with England because I think the manager Gareth Slag of Southgate will only, will only select players to play for England who, is a, who are regulars for their club and if Oxley chamberlain is on the bench for Arsenal in too many games he might miss out on the World Cup and that's huge for any English player to go to the World Cup is one of the biggest honours that you can get as a footballer and I think Oxley chamberlain would play more games at Liverpool than he would at Arsenal. And we need more squad players. Oxley chamberlain not necessarily would be a squad player, but he would, he would be on the level of Lalana, Vinadum, uh, and they could rotate between each other. And there are lots of games for Liverpool to get through next season. 
So there are lots of games for Liverpool to get through and Oxley chamberlain would get a lot of playing time so I really hope that we can get him because he would be a good addition for Liverpool in my opinion. And uh, there are also another report again coming from Portugal that Liverpool will bid close to 50 million euros which is 43 million pounds for sporting winger Jalson Martins who impressed earlier today in the Portugal-Mexico uh, Confederations Cup game but he has he's nowhere near that amount and I think these are just stories to maybe move on the Mohamed Salah deal a little bit quicker I, I can't see Liverpool both going for Jalson Martins and Mohamed Salah at the same time and I said it all along when this transfer rumor started with Justin Martins that I 100% I prefer Salah to, to, for Liverpool to sign instead of Justin Martins but we shall wait and see, I will keep you updated on, on what's going on and just an update on the Alexander Lacazette situation of course I'm a huge fan of Lacazette and I really would love Liverpool to sign him but I don't think we are seriously interested in him because Lyon's um, president Jean-Michel Ola just said that Arsenal had made a very nice offer for Lacazette and you know it will be very interesting if, if uh, Lacazette chooses Arsenal because Lacazette said all along that he dreams of playing in the Champions League, he wants Champions League football but Arsenal for the first time in 10, 20 years finished outside of the top four, will only play in the Europa League but there is the French connection, Arsene Wenger is French, Lacazette is French so it could happen, I, have, I can see it happen and Lacazette would be perfect for Arsenal in my opinion because that's the kind of striker that Arsenal are really lacking so it will, it will be very interesting and, La and uh, Arsenal actually bid like 29 million for Lacazette last summer but that was rejected by Lyon so it, it will be very interesting Liverpool are also said to be interested in Lacazette but I can't see us really seriously going for him because you know there are just not that many stories around about that lately so we shall wait and see this is very very interesting and exciting news uh, according to some uh, newspapers Liverpool are still in the hunt for a left back which is Benjamin Mendy the Monaco left back who is a really really athletic really fast player and I, I think he would be a brilliant signing for Liverpool he's a French international he's 22 years old only and his price tag is very high but if Liverpool really want to compete in the Champions League I think we need a new left back we can't go into the season with just Milner as our main left back and Moreno will likely be sold so it will be interesting who Liverpool bring in and I would love Liverpool to bring in a really really a first choice left back there are talks of Liverpool signing just a youngster to back up Milner but I would prefer if Liverpool went big and signed a proper left back who could solve for the left back position for the next five years and Benjamin Mendy certainly could do so in my opinion the last transfer story is Keita Balde who is a 30 million pound worth a very very exciting winger in the Serie A playing for Lazio he's 22 years old I already talked a lot about him in previous videos and Tottenham and Liverpool want to sign him reportedly in the reporting uh, the mirror does uh, the reporting and uh, this is another transfer link I would of course be happy if we signed him if the Salah wasn't possible but Salah is the first choice and that's very close so I think we are going more for Salah and these are just uh, stories unless the Salah deal doesn't go through then we can fall back on Keita but I always want Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp to sign the first choice targets because that uh, gives Jurgen Klopp the best chance of actually being successful so let me know what do you think about this transfer news in the comments below and thanks for watching more videos coming tomorrow stay tuned see you later Good night.